Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. In our last episode we worked on our extensive roofing infrastructure in here, but now we gotta do a little bit of work down here on the walls, and I know you all are excited about that, but I know you're also even more excited about Christmas, because who isn't? You know, so I figure what we'll do, let's just hop up here real quick. Dang it, that's not a good place for that glass. That's, that's fine. It's acceptable, but it's, it's you know, suboptimal at the same time. And I know this, and you know this, and we will all be okay in the long run. But you know what, sometimes you gotta place your blocks suboptimally that you might yet optimally place them in the future. So I'm just gonna keep, you know, telling myself things will be okay eventually, and, I don't know, maybe muddle through. So, speaking of muddling, didn't I say it was almost Christmas time? We should probably head over and check out the, um, what do you call it, the... There's like a random drawing Santa hat thing. The Secret Santa. That's right. Okay, yeah, so with this one more paint in here, this is already looking a bit better. But we do not have time to just linger because all of the carolers and the Christmas carol singers are going to be expecting us down by the British, I don't know, festive pudding that false symmetry has created. Yeah, okay. I'm seeing this come together. This is, this is doable. It might seem like my brain is all over the place. That is partially because I have not slept especially well the last few nights. We had a problem with our washing machine and the drain hose. Pro tip, verify your drain hose is properly secured, you know, every few months because, you know, after a couple of years or three years of continuous daily use, it might uh, vibrate uh, a little bit loose here and there and then cause you some trouble. So, anyway, we, we got to do is dry out our floors and walls and all that. So we got a lot of industrial, well, we've got one, but it's a pretty good one. Industrial fan running all the time, making a lot of noise, keeping me up at night. But we can't turn it off because we don't want to, like, cause damage by letting things not dry as quickly as they could. So I have not slept especially well. So my brain is going to be all over the place. But anyway, what is this? This is where the secret Santa shh is. So we're going to go visit secret Santa. Shh. Now, there are a bunch of rules. We already read those in a false symmetry accent the other day. But what we've got here is two uh, dispensers that have names in them. Now, at this point, it makes sense to consolidate all of the names into one dispenser so we can have a fully random dispenser experience. Although, if any of these are my name, we should probably pull them out. Although, hey, it looks like, yeah, that's Joe Hills. That is my name. So, for right now, we're going to just shove a bunch of glass in here and move all the names into one dispenser. Whoops. And, whoops. I, see, this is what happens when you're really tired. So, we're going to put my name in the separate dispenser. So, that way, we can draw one of these names at random, and we will find out who we need to prank or make something nice for. Team Fortress Classic, TFC Tinfoil Chef, is indeed our recipient of goodwill toward men this season, it looks like. But is it goodwill or is it bad will? Let's uh, find out whether we're going to... TFC, uh, was he naughty or nice? He was nice, it looks like. So we'll put the nice tag back in the dispenser. We'll keep TFC's name out of here. And we will go ahead and replace our own name for people to draw in there. Now, I kind of think that I should remove the button for this second dispenser. At this point, since we're down to only eight names, but I don't know. I'll let people find out for themselves that there's nothing in there. Maybe I should put some red and green glass in or something. That'd be that'd be funny. But no, we're, we're just going to leave it be. We're just going to leave it be consolidated. So now we got to think about, like, what we got to get a nice gift for TF, TFC. What would be a nice gift for him? Why don't we run over to his base real quick? and brainstorm. Why don't we see what he's got? Because what do you get somebody who has everything? Probably something they don't have yet. So I gotta figure out what he has and what he hasn't. And then, I don't know, make a present? I think the best way to TFC's base is probably gonna go to the old lower um, nether hub network. So we're gonna go ahead and drop down some ladders and hopefully find our way to his base. I don't actually know Oh, that looks so good. This is already better. This is going to be great when it's done, guys. Super pumped. Where was I? TFC. Got to find his base, and we're going to use the lower portal network to get there. So, 
Let's be on our way. Time skip. You know, I wandered around the nether a bit, and it turns out there's no real clear path to TFC's base. But when I looked at the map of the Hermitcraft server, or the Hermitcraft Season 5 server, because if I looked at the Season 1 map, that would be broadly out of date and inaccurate, I realized that TFC is just a little bit north of Wells and across the ocean. So I thought, why don't I just head a little bit north of Wells and then hop in a boat, right? That would be the fastest, most expedient way to get to him. Because, like... In theory, he's somewhere south of Stress Monster, but, like, getting from Wells' place should be more of a straight shot. So, let's just go ahead and do that. Now, I'm not sure how far I have to walk to get to the ocean, but I remember he had, like, a coastal dock area over here. Okay, good. Yeah, there's his castle. So, we are just perambulating around, enjoying a nice little day here. Got some beautiful flowers, the sun's overhead. And the creatures are not out yet wishing us dead or otherwise misfortune. So I think it's an opportune time to head west and seek our fortunes. Who's the guy who can conquer death? That's Joe Hills. He plays for Nashville when he plays Minecraft. That's Joe The sun is hitting the horizon, and my thoughts are that we are about here. This, uh, we somehow did, now that I think about it, we somehow did stumble into TFC's base before. I think we were flying around, though. But this looks reminiscent of what I recall. Yeah, there's that tower up there. So, once again, the question is, what is TFC's base like, and what does it lack? So we're, we're doing a lack-lack thing, because we want to find something he lacks that is like what he likes, right? Okay, so let's go check out, we've got a little harbor hut here. Oh, perfect for changing night into day, for grabbing, what is this? Oh, is this a fishing hut? I never learned how those work. I'm terrified of going to sleep here, because it'll take me forever to get back, but I don't think Impulse is about to go to bed. So here's what we're going to do. We are just... Go in to hope that it's well lit over here and eat a baked potato. How is this sheep so shady when adjacent to a torch that is blazing? That is a little bit upsetting. Maybe the laws of physics apply here in ways that I've forgotten. Okay, ooh, that's really tall up there. Let's see what we've got. We've got little tree forest here. We've got air traffic control tower up there. I think he's supposed to have runways set up kind of throughout. Let's climb up here and look down at everything. Because if we look down at everything, maybe that'll give us a different perspective on what we should aspire to. So let's go ahead and hop up here. Okay. So he already has a tree farm. He doesn't need a tree farm. He has a runway there. He's got an air traffic control tower here. He's got like a, looks like a single llama or chicken there. Whatever that thing is. Hmm. Oh, I like this little gate here that closes. It doesn't probably open. It'd be cool to make him a redstone gate that opened and closed. But I don't think I know how to do a gate that's that fancy. Hmm. Continuing around this way, we've got a little garden. Building a second garden might be nice, but I don't know if that's really ideal, like if that's what he's looking for. He's got this path here with this, like, M.C. Escher buildings, maybe. Oh, no, those aren't M.C. Escher stairs. They're just incomplete rooftops. So we could bring him, like, a roofing kit, maybe. Oh, that's a horse. Perfect throw, as always. You know, from the perfect Joe you love and you know. Hmm. Sun rises once more. And we got a little waterfall here. Decorate his pond. That might be a nice gift. But, like, let's go down here and see what he's got. A launch facility. Is he going to make rockets next? Oh, no. This is for if you have a uh, one of those flying wings things. Shipping and receiving. Is this, like, his... So, we got, like, a FedEx hub here. 
Oh, is his base specifically the Memphis airport, which is a major FedEx hub? Interesting. He's got some people down here. Got some chess. Wow, a lot of chess. Can't say I earnestly or honestly understand precisely the purpose of any of this. Which makes it... Okay, so he's got farms and stuff down here. So he probably doesn't need sugarcane. That would be a terrible gift, apparently. This is like the equivalent of like Facebook stalking somebody to find out what they need for Christmas. Except instead of Facebook, it's like Minecraft book. He's got plenty of slime balls. I think I even hear slimes down here. Or something. He's got an animal farm, so he doesn't need animals. Hmm. Yeah, it's like I looked him up on Facebook or something. Oh, dang it. Got slimes. This is this is not gonna be an easy pick. What what could TFC need? I want you guys to go ahead and leave comments if you have any particular ideas for things. Oh, look, look at how many emeralds he has. Like, I shouldn't get him emeralds. Got a ton of enchanted books, paper. Wow. He's got pumpkins and papers and chickens and steakers for days. Maybe cacti would be nice? I don't know. But he probably has a cactus farm here, too, somewhere I haven't seen. Just keep going up. I know he uh, has a bunch of shulker boxes because he just attacked a bunch of shulkers. Although, they didn't actually... Okay, maybe we should get him some invisible shulker boxes to store things in, right? What if we built some, like, glass translucent shulker boxes for his shipping and receiving area? Now, I think a shulker box in Minecraft is like a 16 by 16 texture, which wouldn't actually fit in there. But maybe would fit down by his dock? Is there a doorway to get to his dock? No. Hmm. Wait. Is this a doorway to get to his... No. Dang it. Okay. Well, trying to put a lot of thought into this. Not sure if it's paying off. Is this his actual home? This is a very nice little modern house. I like it. Hmm. So in some ways, this is a bit of a head-scratcher, because it's just like, maybe, well, he's got an airport, maybe I should build him a plane, right? Maybe I could go find a cool biplane model or something like that, or a stagger wing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's talk about planes that could land on a five-meter-wide runway. That seems really narrow, though. That's the only concern I have about doing a scale model of a plane, is a scale that has to fit the runway for it to work, and that's... It's really narrow. Maybe he needs a second runway with a plane. That would be a thought. Let's survey where we would even do that. Does this building have an entrance? Can we go inside here to look down? Hmm. Wait, is that an entrance to there? I don't want to waste all my enderpearls. But, okay, yeah, this is not an entrance. On the plus side, I'm up here at least now, so I could sit up another wider runway through here. That's one possibility. Hmm. Well, you know what, guys? I want to go ahead and throw this out to you. Everyone who is not TFC, feel free to post suggestions. If you are TFC, you probably shouldn't be watching this episode. Anyway, I think that I've got some thinking to do, some more research to do. I'm going to go watch some of TFC's videos, and I hope you do too. Let me know if you think of anything after watching his stuff. Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.